portrait was painted by an American artist, uh, E.F. Andrews. Uh, it was painted in 1899, and it was part of a set of six Confederate generals. Uh, Andrews was well known for portraits of a lot of Confederate officers and scenes like this. This was part of the way he made money. This set was purchased by Blewett Lee, the son of Stephen D. Lee, and they were given to Mississippi State University and for years hung in Lee Hall. At some point in modern times, they decided that to move some of the pictures, some of the paintings were in storage. They have since disappeared. I don't know how. You can't exactly tuck that under your coat and walk away. <laughs> but um, Forrest had been defaced, and so they were going to put him in storage. The man in charge of, um, of the university property, who was in charge of moving them, went to the president. He told him it will disappear or it's going to be in a bad environment at best. And he said he knew a place where it could be stored permanently and taken care of and to explain the relationship between Forrest and Columbus, Mississippi. So the university gave, gave us a permanent loan of the uh, painting of Nathan Bedford Forrest by E.F. Andrews in 1899.